Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will guide you how we can easily use XNS Trading Platform. XNS Trading Platform is what I think easy to use and I believe after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. If you are first time here and you want to try XNS, you will find the link for registration down below in the description. And if you're going to click on it and register for it, you will support this channel and myself too. So without further ado, let's start. So here I am in XNS. And I'm going to straight away click to web trading here. Uh, what I can find here. So this is really important on the top. This is a demo account. I'm going to show you how we can do everything. But what I will do, I will remove my camera for now. So when you're going to enter here, you can on left side find watch list. Watch list is watch list of stocks, cryptos, um, exotic for Forex, metals, majors and all the traded all the things that you can trade that we would see on the left side on the watch list. Then you would find portfolio and this is the portfolio of open positions. Then you would have history of orders and transactions. And then you're going to have also options to have a double MetaTrader and connect MetaTrader to Exynos. And if you want, I can create a tutorial on that too. So this is what you would find on left side and also support. So when I'm going to close it, I'm going to have a lot of on the top, a lot of open, let's say pairs, etc. But let's say we want to add right now uh, some stock here. So I'm going to add, click here stocks and I have Adobe. So I'll click on it. And in a moment when you're going to click on Adobe, let's say where you would find the bid, the ask and the change. You can also add it to favorites. And if you're going to add it to favorites, then you can simply go on the stocks here and click your favorites and you would find it here, which you added. And here I have an Adobe and what I can find here. So I'm going to show you the graph now. And then on the right side, I will show you how we can actually buy it. So here you're going to have options to easily have a dot or cross or arrow or eraser, then you can simply have a trend line on arrow, let's say, and like this, and you can easily create all lines here and all the things that you want. Then you can also change what I really like. You can change the size of it. It's a dashed line. You can uh, change the, also the settings of the arrow and whatever you're going to add. Also, you can lock it or remove it or even clone it. So you can see, you can do a lot here. And that's what I like about Exynos. It's complex. So right now, when I go further, I can see also add simply, let's say FIP circles, FIP spiral and all these. Then you can have also option to have a highlighter, ellipse, path, curve polyline. So this is what you can do here. Now, if you want me, I can create these videos on how we can use them, of course, but this is just what you can find here. Then you can add simply text here. See, and you can move it and have like your own information. Then you can have a long position, short position, forecast, bars pattern, and then you can have like emojis here that you can add. Then you see also like this, you can add it. And this is like the zoom in and zoom out just on this specific. And then you're going to go back, right? So you can zoom in and zoom out. And then you're going to have the weak magnet, stroke magnet here. See, and right now we got these points here. Then stay in drawing mode or lock all drowning tools or hide all drawings. So that's what you can do or remove drawings. So right now I remove everything. So this is how you can pretty much do it. Now you can of course change it to minutes. You can have a bars, you can have bars, bars, lines here. Also, if you want, you can have area. 
Let's say I'm going to have days here. I mean, Adobe dropped a lot or weeks. And then you can have indicators what you can use. So here you would find all the indicators and also the templates. So you can have also the bar replay if you want. So now let's say we have this here and let's say on a, a right side, you're going to have the market and pending. So let's say we have it right here and I'm going to choose it to to hours or even let's say minutes. And right now we're going to click volume in lots or in currency or in a unit or in margin. So let's say I'm going to be in units. So let's say that I'm going to have five shares and you can have auto close or let's say I'm going to be volume. You can choose, let's say in currency. So let's say 2000 and then I can have about asset price, the auto close and you can take profit. So let's say the take profit, it's going to be on 380 and stop loss 365, right? And now you see also the leverage on the bottom and you can simply click buy here. Right? And you can see we got the 2000 USD here. And you can have auto close on or off. And always in left side in the portfolio, I can have the Adobe. You can always modify the order. And that's pretty much it, right? And same uh, when you would have the Euro USD here. And again, I would have two thousand or volume in units. You can have auto close, and again, I can simply turn on the auto close and buy it. And you always want to have the currency, uh, the units, the margin, the PIP value. So same what we have with Adobe right now. You can always find it right here. So currency units, five shares margin at and stop loss, right? So you can always do this, but I can have volume in units. And look what will happen. 10 shares. Uh, that's a margin right there. And then you're going to see also the add. And this is really great that you can like overview and find uh, some understanding. So let's say I'm going to have 10 shares. And right now it's 374. But let's say I'm going to buy 20 shares. And I want to have take profit all at 400. And you can see that right now for 20 shares, it's going to be 7,480. And then uh, in money, I would make 560 and stop loss. It's 180. So that's pretty good. Now I can simply buy. And that's how you can do it, right? Same here. So I can have volume in a units, let's say, and you would have currency, units, margin, pip value, or you can easily have auto close here and automatically you're going to have set, let's say, right? And if it's going to be 1.05, I would make 50 bucks. And how simple is that, right? 
So we're always going to find a margin there. And that's pretty much it. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. And I close the orders right there. So thank you and have a great day. And goodbye. See ya.